Hey you guys, welcome to your weekend edition, Love and General Reading. Uh, this is for the element of fire. So if you are Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising, these messages are for you for the weekend of November 18th through the 20th, 2022. So I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. Uh, please keep in mind these are general, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully you get some clarity. Um, also, if you're wanting to book a personal or private reading, be sure to email me for a price list if you don't already have it. Um, if you're wanting to reach me by phone, make sure that you are first registered uh, at Paid Communications. Request a call back. If I don't get back to you that day, I'll get back to you within a seven-day time frame. Uh, also, be sure to check me out on uh, Patreon for monthly Venus sign readings and check me out on TikTok. All right, so we have the overall energy, the Eight of Wands, Six of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. We've got the Tower, Five of Swords, King of Swords, Page of Wands, and the Nine of Cups. Hmm, okay. Okay, I feel that maybe someone is inviting you to something. Um, you might end up going to some sort of event. Um, could also end up going, uh, traveling somewhere. Hmm. You also may be feeling at peace with uh, a situation in your life or at peace with someone that you're with. Uh, it also could be if you're just meeting someone or you're about to meet someone rather and you just feel calm around them. You feel at peace with this person. You may connect with someone who shares the same values as you. Mm. It just seems like there is um, equality between you and a love interest. I also feel like you may be making some sort of an agreement Mm. things just seem to be balanced you also seem as if mm, it's something that keeps slipping my mind something about a connection I'm getting forgiveness yeah okay so I feel like there could be an apology um, this weekend um, or you are forgiving someone. I just feel like there's going to be some kind of forgiveness and there's maybe some sort of peace offering made between parties. Even if it's not something romantic, I, I feel like there's going to be some sort of peace offering and somebody may be giving you some kind of gift or you might receive something, some sort of messages expressing love for you or you might receive something unexpected uh, in the mail mm. it seems to like you are about to be um, hit unexpectedly by Cupid, Cupid's arrows. Um, I feel like something is getting ready to strike you. Something is coming. You're unaware of what's getting ready to happen. Now, I do also see the potential of some sort of sudden argument or disagreement or going from having a peaceful day to a crazy disruptive day. 
Maybe something comes out the wrong way. Hmm. It also could be that you are having a great time and then all of a sudden someone around you breaks out an argument and you might be like, I'm glad it's not us. Hmm. I'm getting a lot of healing energies though uh, and clarity. I feel like you're gonna have clarity in your situation, whatever's happening. Seems like you also may be unexpectedly busy. Be careful though, how you're moving around. Um, yeah, be careful how you're moving around and also be careful how you're driving. Drive on the defense, um, you know, just, is someone, if you know you have the right of way, but someone is acting like they can't see you, let that fool go on by. Um, it's better for you to be yelling at them than for you to just assume that they're going to stop. You know, so just drive on a defense this weekend. Mm. Career-wise, I feel like you might be still agreeing to something. Like you might sign some sort of agreement or contract. Something could change your life forever. Something also seems like it's moving so quickly and then it just stops abruptly because of some sort of misunderstanding. Hmm. I do at least feel though that, you know, ultimately you are going to feel at peace with whatever happened. Um, you're going to be able to laugh about it. You're like, oh, wasn't that funny? Like I can laugh about it now. It wasn't funny at the time. So I don't know what it is, but I feel like eventually you're going to laugh about it. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> Something's going on. If you're in a relationship, it just seems like there is something that is very disruptive that happens to the relationship. I also feel like if you're single, the way a relationship starts off is in a very unexpected way it may start off with someone doing something extreme to get your attention or you might even start off on the wrong foot with somebody like the first time you meet this person is because I don't know you have to snap on them about something I don't know it just seems like it something could start off on the wrong foot or something starts off very explosive. I do feel like things that get straightened out and smoothed over, but yeah. Hmm. You might find yourself blurting something out um, uncontrollably. Okay, something's being expressed in an unexpected way or a very intense way. Um, maybe someone is just having some sort of breakdown um, or someone just 
can't take something anymore. They're just like, I have to say this. I feel like someone is trying to reach out to you telepathically. Um, yeah. Something's happening where telepathy is going to be confirmed. You're like, I knew it. I knew we had some sort of telepathic connection. Um, some sort of dream or you might just end up you know, texting each other at the same time. Hmm. You know what, I almost feel too like someone is trying to force you into an agreement or a relationship. And it's making me think of, it's like angry romantic. So I don't know if you've ever seen a notebook, but it's this one scene. I always get all choked up. I'm such a hopeful romantic. Um, but it's this scene in a notebook where he's like yelling at her. The two main characters are yelling at each other. Ryan Gosling and um, Rachel McAdams. They're like having a little argument. And he was like, um, I yell and I scream because that's what we do. And she like just break down crying because <laughs> it's like he's being so real with her. And it's kind of like he's basically like just, you know, you don't want that guy. You don't want safe basically is what he's saying um, in context. But I kind of feel like that is what's happening is like somebody is yelling at you like, you know, you want me or, you know, we should be together. Like, I don't know. I just feel like it's more like a passionate argument. Yeah. And it actually could be that I feel too like whatever relationship this is that people might not get it or understand it. Um, it's kind of like if you do have, I don't want to say not toxic, but it is is weird or it's crazy. I feel like people around you might be like, I don't know. I don't get this relationship or I don't see why they stay together. I feel too like somebody is being yelled at, but out of love. It's kind of like you're better than this or you you don't need that job or you're so talented. You don't know it. Like, I just kind of feel like somebody is being yelled at, but out of love. I mean, it could be a tough love situation. Mm. Hmm. And like I said, there could be some sort of arguing around you, especially at work. And you're like, these people, I don't know why they're arguing or, you know, something's going on. Where I feel like maybe you're trying to stay focused on work. Other thing I'm getting is that someone is going to desperately try to get your attention. They're, they are going to do something extreme. They're trying to distract you. Um, they're trying to put their foot down. It could be an earth sign or air sign. Also could be another fire sign.
I feel like someone knows how to sketch uh, or design really well. I also feel like someone may be um, an illustrator or trying to get a career in illustration. someone um, sees through you and two people are mirroring each other's insecurities if yeah it depends on how it's going to play out but I just feel that people are behaving in a certain way because of their insecurities Either you have been dreaming about someone a lot because they're wanting to come forward um, or someone's been dreaming about you a whole lot. Mm. I feel like this could be daydreaming too. I really feel like somebody is in love with you, but they don't know how to say it or express it, or they're trying to, or they have, but you keep ignoring their efforts, especially if it's because it's a passive effort or indirect. Mm. Okay, I kind of feel like you are maybe trying to put up a barrier with someone or you're coming off as very guarded. Maybe you don't trust somebody. I also feel that the thought of someone is triggering you. Um, something you see makes you emotional and you might you know, start thinking about someone nonstop and it might make you emotional. Mm. Hmm. You might be stuck on a fire sign or having a hard time letting this person go or maybe they won't let you go. I also feel like maybe someone is being overprotective over their child. Yeah, I kind of feel like you are going to feel flattered. Um, you might receive some sort of peace offering, like I said, or an apology. 
I feel like you're going to feel good. Something is making you laugh or just very happy. Seems like maybe something gets confirmed for you and you needed that. You needed confirmation. And I just feel like it makes you just so happy to see this. Mm. Yeah, it may be confirmed that um, somebody has been thinking about you. Now, also what I'm getting is you feeling at peace because you find something that you were looking for. Um, you find uh, something within yourself that gives you peace. Um, maybe you're embracing yourself, embracing some sort of talent or gift that you have. Or there is someone who brings something out of you or helps you to see your purpose. But I feel like you're happy because you feel complete. You feel healed. Yeah, if you've been feeling lonely or empty, um, I, something's happening where you find your purpose and you just, it makes you feel good. Um, all right, so let's see what messages are coming out. Additional messages. All right, additional messages for Fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising for this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We have Walking Away, Third Chakra, Archangel, Tremul, Goddess of the Moon, Overall energy, angel of balance. All right, so yeah, I feel like ultimately you feel satisfied or at peace. Um, something works out for you. I also feel that you are deciding to leave something behind and go in a new direction. I feel like you're gonna follow your heart and follow your passion. You could be walking away from a job um, to follow your passion. Um, you could be walking away from a relationship that you're no longer happy in. Um, but I feel like you're escaping a situation uh, because you're headed towards your calling. You also may have just been waiting for the right time to let something go or to release something. And with, with your third chakra, again, that is having some sort of creativity or like motivation to do something. I just feel that you are going to feel uh, a sense of purpose and drive, like something is driving you. Mm. If you had a hard time during these eclipses, I kind of feel that now you feel relieved um, maybe you fulfilled some sort of karmic debt and you can move forward now. But something is telling you to trust your own inner voice or trust your intuition. Uh, you should pursue some sort of calling um, that you have. If it's a relationship, I feel like you're being asked to um, use your judgment on what you should do 
but it seems like you're trusting you know whatever it is that you feel now this even though this is an energy de uh, oracle deck I still see the energy of the sun and moon and anytime I see the sun and moon together I feel like soulmates are around each other you have a soulmate in your energy and this person may be calling out to you or trying to get your attention something seems to be pulling you towards them or maybe they're being pulled towards you um, so you know something might catch you by surprise something might there might you might experience some sort of a plot twist this weekend And then, like I said, you may be feeling very emotional out of the blue. It's like something is being activated or waking up and it makes you very emotional. You're having some sort of realization of what you truly love or care about. Yeah. So those are the messages that I have for you. Hopefully some things resonated. Uh, feel free to leave your feedback. Thank you guys for watching. Send you love and grace.